In the last week, uh, record numbers of Americans exercised the right, which generations risk everything, to hand on to us. I want to spend a few minutes this morning talking about what we saw last week, where we are now, and where our great country will go from here. There's one aspect of last week that has gotten lost that I want to single out right at the start. By every indication, the 2020 election appears to have been free from meaningful foreign interference. There is no suggestion that our foreign adversaries were allowed to undermine the integrity of our process. According to the director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Administration, quote, we have no, no evidence any foreign adversary was capable of preventing Americans from voting or changing vote tallies, end quote. General Paul Nakasone, the head of the NSA and U.S. Cyber Command, reported Tuesday night, quote, the actions we've taken against adversaries have ensured they're not going to interfere in our elections, end quote. The Trump administration and the Senate spent four years supporting the state and local election authorities on the front lines. New tools and information sharing partnerships, unprecedented coordination, hundreds of millions in new funding, new painful consequences for bad actors like Russia if they interfere. The absence of any reports of foreign interference is a ringing endorsement, a ringing endorsement of our bipartisan work. And it slams the door on the embarrassing, irresponsible rhetoric that some Washington Democrats spent four years broadcasting. Too many voices tried to talk down our progress, urged Americans actually not to have confidence and smeared anyone as unpatriotic who opposed far-left proposals to rewrite election laws. Well, Mr. President, the people who pushed this hysteria could not have more egg on their face than they do right now. None of their demands became law, none of them. The Speaker of the House did not get to personally rewrite election law. And yet, because of the sensible bipartisan steps that some of us championed, our defenses and countermeasures proved to be radically, in radically better shape than back in 2016. So it's time, let's talk about where we are now. According to preliminary results, voters across the nation elected and re-elected Republican senators to a degree that actually stunned prognosticators. Likewise, the American people seem to have reacted to House Democrats' radicalism and obstruction by shrinking the Speaker's majority and electing more Republicans. 